another TV that's been, and it's making this huge resurgence now. Um, and we see it everywhere. My kids are watching it now. Friends. I mean, it your is, kids are watching it. My kids are watching yeah. Friends now. Like, oh, and wow. all of their friends are watching. So this was like, you know, it's like. We were at a store last night. How week. how old are your? She's fifteen, and uh, wow. sixteen year old daughter yeah. has watched it three times. The whole series, the whole series, three times. Netflix, it, it, it's resurging. Yeah, it's because of Netflix. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Wow. And so, I mean, get this. I talked to her about it, and she's like, "Mr. Heckles is going to be in there." Hi, did you order some bananas? What about it? Give me my monkey back. I don't have a monkey. Then what's with all the bananas? Potassium. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, I was blown away. Like, I was like, I'm blown away. Right. I don't. I, it's see, a I don't huge. Get it. It's a huge resurgence, man. Yeah. So, what but, was that? What was that whole process ending up on one of the most popular '90s? Television? Again, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, just lay it out. You're gonna put on our dreams. We appreciate your transparency here. This is pretty amazing. Um. See, here, here's the, the, the rule. I guess the guys out there, girls out there who don't know the rules, it's it, you can be hired as a, just a regular day actor, one-time actor, five times. Or, yeah, five times. Uh, you know, come in, you get paid, come in, get paid, get in. But on the sixth time, on the sixth time, you are a recurring. Mm. And once you're a recurring, you get a bump okay a big bump okay and so i was on i auditioned just generally on did my then each time everybody was telling me how to play mr heckles that's the the other side i just played him like i wanted to play him and each time it was kind of written different because they'd have different writers mm -hmm. So that's that's a weird thing, you know. Nobody's got a bead on it, so that was kind of throwing me. But okay, ba 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 ba. Again, to the fifth time, and I get a call from. Uh, I never got along with any anybody. Not that it was bad blood or anything. It was just that I'm not a talker. I don't have any. I just hang to myself, or I watch. I like to watch what's going on so I can get into the rhythm mm -hmm. of the acting. So I just watch. But every time they would finish, they would just go together, the, 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 mm -hmm. the friends. They would right. just, and they would talk to each other, you know, and mm -hmm. talk to two. And, and I was fine. So uh, the last uh, show, I get a call from my agent saying, hey, I got good news and bad news. Again, good news and bad news. <laughs> <laughs> What's the good news? <laughs> the good news is you got a call from friends, you got your fifth show. So, oh, one more, and I've got me a house. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought right. I got a house. Yeah. And I, uh, so just, okay, one more. Uh, what's bad news? Said, you die in this episode. Oh, my gosh. Within five seconds, right. I had a house, <laughs> <laughs> and friends took it away. <laughs> Oh, so no one told you life was gonna be uh, this way. And no, 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 no. <laughs> Does that happen? Oh, what? A death aside? <laughs> Do you think that happens a lot when they get to those points where they know it's going to be another financial step for people? Like, do they? Do you think question. that happens a lot where they realize if we go to this next episode for someone or this next level, we're going to have to pay them more? And do you think that happens where they make financial no, decisions? No. Uh, Is the story that important? Where they'll forego that, like, or do they look at like, oh man, we do this again, we're going to be on the hook for another? Oh no, because they had an unlimited budget. Yeah. They were big stars by yeah. uh, by then. Yeah. Um, uh, no, I think what the deal was was they. Uh, I I went to the writer mm -hmm. uh, during the, the the show to ask him. I said, okay, did you write this? Because yeah. it was the same guy who said, you know, this. And he said, yeah, this was the episode I wrote. He said, well, why, why did you have me killed? Mm -hmm. He said, I didn't. But they, there was a, a, a larger thing. They wanted one of the friends to break up and move out. Oh, okay. All and, right. they, and so they had a set already built. Ah. And they said, all right, just kill him off because we're going to, uh, because we want that apartment for. Got it. 
Man. Somebody else. Right. And so he was it's ordered to change the script. Mm-hmm. He says, but no, I, you were my favorite character. I wanted to mm. keep writing for you. Oh, so, you know, c'est la vie, c'est la guerre. Show business. Show business. Uh, this has been amazing, Larry. We have... Oh, cool. I hope that... No, I want to good. keep going. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, but no. you're up to episode five. <laughs> <laughs> We've reached our limit of time. Where, uh, we know we're going to be committed to more. <laughs> <laughs> no house. <laughs>